So good evening, and I'd like to welcome our guests today to the panel. First, we have on the right Antoine de Chézy, director of the École Nationale des Pontes et Chaussées in Paris. In the middle, Robert Manning, chief engineer with the Irish Office of Public Works, and on the left, Julius Weisbach, professor for applied mathematics, mechanics, and the theory of mountain machines at Freiburg Berg Academy in Germany. Welcome, gentlemen. And today we are talking about flow resistance. So let's start with you, Antoine. Tell me, how did it all begin and what first got you interested in flow resistance formulae? Well, Isaac Newton, the English physicist, he explains the motion of objects, but the motion of water were not yet understood. It occurred to me that just like an object falling at the velocity terminal where the force of resistance must equal exactly the force of gravity, so too it is with the velocity at uniform flow. Yes, of course. So tell me, tell me about how you went about your study. Bear. In the middle of Paris, we have the beautiful Seine River. Perhaps you have heard of it. I dropped a ball of wax from a bridge, and then I mounted my horse and galloped to the next bridge and recorded the travel time for the wax between the two bridges. And from this, I could calculate the speed. And your coefficient the Chessy coefficient. Is it a constant? Ah, well, for the Seine River it is equal to 44, but for the other river I studied, it is the Copole River, I found it was a little bit smaller, 31. So not quite a constant. So Robert, let's pick up the story with you. Why didn't you use the Chessy's flow resistance formula, which was around at the time you were working? Oh, in fact, there were several equations around at the time I we thought, and I thought they were probably all equally wrong. Or he just used them all and then took the average and fitted my equation. Or I like to think of my equation as very average indeed. And since then, it's, it's become the standard equation used by civil engineers around the world. Is that pleasing? Oh, yes, I suppose. But, you know, I'd rather it didn't have the two-thirds exponent for R, always a right pain to calculate. Julius, in fact, your equation, the darcy weisbach equation, was one of those which Robert included in his average. What do you make of this? So, these equations, they are both wrong. The problem is to meet the coefficient. They have dimension. Example. Chezy C has dimension of a meter to one half per second, which is absurd. So tell me, why, why is that a problem to have dimensions? The problem is that dimension coefficients will scale with the speed of the water and size of the channel. My solution is to use a dimensionless friction factor. And this also means we can borrow from the same pipe friction theory that use the friction factor. It is a fact. We can mathematically relate all the coefficients to my factor f. Well, thank you to all of you for your time today. Great to talk to you together for the first time about this fascinating topic of flow resistance in open channels. Good night. <laughs>